Well, I've been looking into getting a microphone for my camera, and I, I did order one on eBay, but it's just a cheapy thing. And I, I would like to get a decent microphone for my computer, but I can't really afford to, so I've been searching around the internet, and I found a couple of videos and a couple of uh, forums and things like that that uh, talked about an app for the iPhone. I'm sure you can probably get it for Android too, but but this one's for, for the iPhone and the iPod Touch. So I have my iPhone, and this is the old iPhone 3G, and uh, I have my kind of busted up iPod Touch 4th generation. And I have an app called Megaphone and this thing here says upgrade to uh, Megaphone Pro but it works perfectly fine as a microphone you really don't need to upgrade unless you want the other features all I want is the microphone so I'm not gonna bother upgrading but um, yeah so anyway um, on the App Store it's totally free so or at least this version is free. If you want all the other features, I think it's $1.99 or something like that. So, anyway, I'm going to stop yapping about it, and I'm going to test it out uh, first on my camera, and then I might tag on to the end of this video a short clip from the computer, and just you know see what it sounds like but anyway I'm gonna stop the uh, flapping my gums and I'm gonna hook this up and let you hear what it sounds like so first I'm gonna try the iPhone uh, 3G and that's all I have so I can't say for sure that the iPhone 4 or 4S will sound different but anyway let's uh, hook up the iPhone 3G and I'll come right back so as you can see, I have my iPhone 3G hooked into the uh, camera, and hopefully the sound's quite a lot better. Um, it seems like it's pretty good. I've tested it. I didn't test it yet on the camera, so this is going to be a surprise for me, and hopefully a decent uh, sound quality for you guys. But uh, uh, I have tested it on the computer, and I won't tell you the results because I'm going to tag on to the end of this video a quick little demo of it on the computer, but I'm going to switch over to the iPod Touch 4th generation and see what that sounds like, and hopefully, uh, hopefully the iPod and the iPhone are pretty much the same because it, it would be a lot more convenient for me to use the iPod Touch, but Obviously, I'm not going to use it on my camera because, you know, I got all this cord and I got to hold the phone fairly close to my uh, mouth to get it to work. But anyway, I'm going to switch over to the iPod Touch 4th generation and see what that sounds like. Alrighty, so I have my old broken up iPod Touch 4th generation hooked up to the camera and using it as a microphone and hopefully the sound quality is pretty good uh... i'm kind of, I, I like i said before i hope that the sound quality from the ipod touch is pretty much the same as the iphone because it's a lot more convenient to use the ipod touch since you don't get phone calls or i don't anyway with my ipod touch but uh, that's uh, just a quick uh, sound demo of the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPhone 3G used as a, a microphone. Alrighty, so I switched over to my uh, computer now and I'm on my iPod Touch 4th generation. And this is just a quick uh, sound test of the Megaphone app and using the iPod Touch 4th generation as a PC microphone so uh, hopefully the sound quality is decent and this is probably what I'll use for uh, 
uh, voice capture for whatever I do on my computer, like uh, <clears throat> uh, screen caps and things like that, at least until I get a, a good quality microphone. Alrighty, so uh, I'm on the iPhone 3G, and uh, I don't really know what to say. It's just another sound check or sound test of the Megaphone app and using the iPhone 3G as a PC microphone. Uh, I already did the test with the both hooked into my uh, Kodak Playtouch and used as a camcorder microphone and I don't know if there will be much difference but you'll have to be the judge and whichever one you think is better leave a comment down below and talk to you later